Arguably one of the most important projects currently being built in Saudi Arabia, the Riyadh Metro project is one of the region's and the world's most ambitious infrastructure projects. But where does it stand at the moment and what will it mean to Saudis when it becomes live? I'm Jack Ball, senior reporter at Construction Week and joining me is Nehar Batia, editor of Construction Week. So, Nehar, cutting through the hype around the Saudi Metro project, can you give me a brief outline of the project uh, as it stands now and a bit of history about it? Um, well, like you said, it is one of the most important projects underway, not just in Saudi, but across the Gulf. Um, last week, it was revealed by the CEO of Aria Development Authority that the project is 75% complete. Uh, deep tunnel work and bridges are fully complete and um, there's work being carried out on around 250 construction sites for the metro. So there's lots going on for the project and it's definitely making progress. Um, just this month we've seen two operation and maintenance contracts awarded for lines one to six. One and two will be worked on by CAMCO. Three to six will be worked on by the Flow Consortium, which includes, among other companies, Alstom. So, yeah, lots going on. And it's obviously a very, very important project for the kingdom because, you know, congestion is a problem anywhere you look in the world, road congestion. And so the metro is really expected to sort of help elevate the standard of transport around Saudi Arabia. No, absolutely. It's clearly picking up a lot of steam. Those are really positive signs. Um, when can we expect it to, to fully go live? Do they, have they given a date yet? I think there's going to be phased completion. There are parts of it that will most likely open next year, but I would expect full completion within the next two years odd. And you mentioned Neha, you mentioned the uh, you know the effect of easing congestion and what you know the kingdom hopes to do in that kind of respect. But what does it mean for ordinary Saudis? You know, how will it change their lives, and what would the economic effect as well be on from the project? Well, um, there is going to be a massive socio-economic impact uh, that's made by the metro. Uh, Knight Frank earlier this year released a report that essentially stated that all the areas around Riyadh metro stations would more likely see a bit of a bump in property valuations. And that that's on the back of the fact that, again, like Dubai Metro in the UAE, um, Riyadh Metro will add value to the ordinary Saudi. It will make it easier for them to go to work, go to the mall, just get out of the house without having to worry about the traffic. And people obviously want to live in proximity of these stations. So um, there's definitely going to be a change in the way Riyadh's property market works, residential, commercial, and all other segments. Um, socially, I think uh, we've had in the past officials from a Riyadh Development Authority telling us that it will take some getting used to on the part of Saudis to actually use the metro because the norm has been to take your car and go wherever you have to. Um, so it will be a bit of a behavioral sort of evolution but that's going to be interesting and I think it's a model that has been tried and tested very successfully in Dubai and I expect Riyadh to similarly warm up to the uh, metro network. Mm -hmm. No, it's definitely going to take some getting used to but again it's, I think it will happen quite quickly and quite a positive sign for ordinary Saudis that they're going to save time and money you know getting to work and yep. living their lives. So Neha, some really positive signs that the project is really picking up steam and a lot to look forward to over the next coming year and next couple of years. You've been watching Construction Week in Focus. We are pleased to be giving away a limited number of EMAR vouchers worth 500 dirhams to spend at a range of fantastic places. To get your hands on one of these vouchers, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like a video, leave a comment, and share it with your friends. And the winners will be contacted directly by Construction Week. Don't forget that we publish new episodes every Tuesday at 9am. Until then, thank you for watching and goodbye.